All right, this is uh, gonna be a little gimp tutorial for you guys. Let me change the song. I've been listening to this for for a minute. Five lines, man. Nice. All right, so uh, this is a gimp tutorial on how to splice your images in gimp. And uh, I just came from Photoshop. I'm a new converter to GIMP, so uh, I figured this out and it was very useful for me. I hope it helps you guys. First thing you want to do, of course, is open a file which needs to be split. So let me find mine. One second. is a banner or a um, sort of navigation bar for the top of my website and I want to make each of these buttons an individual file so that's what splicing is about is taking one file and changing it to multiple files I chose a bad song for this song Let's turn it over. so um, okay first thing you want to do select the layer that has the content for the first button that's a virus removal over here to the rectangle select tool and highlight your box for cutting. So that's what you do. Sorry for the sound effect. Um, the next thing to do, you can do this manually. I'll show you manually, but I, I'm going to teach you the, sh uh, the keyboard shortcuts real quick. You can go edit, copy, or control C. So from now on, I'll just do control C. And then the next thing is edit, paste as, new image. And that's control shift V. And what it does is it just copies your selection and posts it in a new image, and it's perfectly size of the uh, rectangular select tool. So that's uh that's pretty much as easy as it is. And I didn't think it would be that easy. It's harder in Photoshop because GIMP is so fast. It's really a fast program. Once you get used to GIMP, I swear, even you wouldn't even want uh, Photoshop if you paid for it. So I mean, that's just a theory, but the pros might. But I don't need it to be honest. So I'm gonna show you this. Uh, in more details in a second, I'll show you some more layers, layer editing, or whatever. Here, let's name this file. So, virus and spyware, I'll call it a PNG file. I'll lower this to about four. Um, it starts at nine, which is very bad quality, but I would put it down to four or five because that's uh, that's for better compression and you still maintain a pretty good file size. So now we make our next selection. The other selection is still there, so it's useful to see the borders and stuff. Select the next layer, Control C, Control Shift V. There's the new one. I'll call this. Uh, and it saves the last settings for the last export, so. Next, Windows reinstalls. I didn't see what happened there. I didn't select the right layer, so it tried to still copy the system tune-up. It's important to select the layer that you need. Yeah, and that also selected some other stuff, but see I've got the rectangular select to too large. In this situation, I'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut that's useful. It's Control Shift A, and that deselects everything. It's basically like a Control D for Photoshop. That's the thing. There's also there's a little bit of keyboard shortcut modifications between the two programs. You gotta get used to some differences. So Control Shift V, Control C, Control C, Control Shift V. File save as. Lastly, data backup. And that's it. Data backup. Oh, see. I didn't select the right format, so I just saved it as a normal file. And that's it. That's splicing in GIMP right there. Here's my photos that were expanded. And that's the tutorial for the day. I hope it helped you. God bless.